Hey, girl, hey! How's it going? Hi, how's it going not with you? Not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, you What's sure? What's new with you? Yeah, everything's good. Everything's great. <laughs> everything's awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. So, Everything. girl, I just, I need, I need to clarify. I need to make sure. You, you aren't having a breakdown, right? What do you mean? I don't know. You disappeared for... 48 hours on me there. 40. <laughs> I was, when you sent me that message, like, are you alive? I'm like, it's not, it's not been that many days since we've talked. Girl, but usually. No, but I know. Usually. We, talk, we talk constantly. I know that. But I, usually. I, no, I'm fine. I literally just had, um, I have had the strangest um, neck strain spasmy thing mm -hmm. since last Sunday. And it's lasted an entire week, and I've been kind of miserable. Okay, I understand. I, yeah. I, yeah. Have you have you gone in for a massage yet? No, I mean uh, the husband did some, and we have the massage chair, and um, so it just took um, some time. Just, just, just to let you know, massage chairs can actually make it worse. Well, I mean, I, you I'm know. just throwing that out there. I I love them. I they know they feel happy. great, but they can make things like that actually worse. Well, so what I what I did was uh -huh. I just I started just going crazy with like all of the creams and salves and things like that, um, and some Aleve. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's the one that actually works. There you go. Hey, yeah, the Aleve actually. It took a couple of days, but the Aleve finally got you, it. Too. Have you have you taken a bath yet? Like. With some oh, yeah. Epsom salts. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah, Annie. Okay. Yes, I'm just, just make sure you had your salts. I done soaked in the tub. I done done it like Japanese bathhouse style in the other shower with just the water flowing on me. And I'm just sitting oh, there girl, contemplating yeah. my life and my choices. And, and how how'd that do? <laughs> a lot so of tears, I, I need, a lot I of tears. To, I need to reiterate. Did you have a breakdown? <laughs> you know, now that we're reevaluating this statement, maybe so. Maybe so. I was in that shower a long time. Oh my god, I love a hot shower. Listening to my um, <sighs> listening to my podcast uh, about um, old English history. So, if you have not um, looked recently, yes, kimchi has three new palettes out. <clears throat> oh no! Tell me that called Citrus Queen or something like that. <sighs> Orange, lemon, and lime. Oh, stop. They are. I bought all three. Um, and they, she now has like bubblegum colored lipsticks, like bright yellow, bright blue. Girl, I kid you not. Her lipsticks are some of the lipsticks, best lipsticks I've ever used. Oh, my. Look at these colors. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. And I just bought all that stuff from Julia's place. Dang it. And. I know, I know. I you know. are a drag queen, girl. You know you can use this as tax right off at the end of the year, right? Yes, dear. Oh my gosh! Finally, somebody came out with a yellow. Oh, that's so exciting. What are you talking that about, is, kimchi? Yeah, that is the most difficult color. Like people, they don't, they either don't mm -hmm. release it, or when they do release it, it's almost like a glossy, even though it's not supposed to be a gloss. Um, all oh, these lipsticks are, yeah. I bought, I bought the blue and the yellow. I'm dying right now. <laughs> and have you ever used any of Kimchi's products? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You dear actually listeners, bought me one of the palettes a long time ago when they first came out. Yeah, dear listeners, this is not sponsored at all. No, Just, we'd love to be sponsored by Kimchi. We would love to be sponsored by Kimchi. I will say that Kimchi Cosmetics and Trixie Mattel Cosmetics are two of the best, like, lines that i've used like the katya palette is one of the best palettes i've ever bought it is dear just... listeners if you have if you have any sort of desire to wear colorful makeup yes. and if you have young people that like mm -hmm. colorful makeup those are the brands if you see drag queens starting brands of makeup yes. those are yes. the ones that go yes. after because... and like <laughs> kimchi kimchi the thing is drag queen juice her stuff too yep. like it is and, and it's not all, don't think all of them are, at least with kimchi, bright 
crazy colors. No, a lot not. of it you can you can get the subtler, more natural nude yeah. stuff there from her too. Natural colors. Natural <laughs> colors. Natural colors. Natural <laughs> colors. Natural <laughs> colors. Natural <laughs> colors. Natural <laughs> colors. <laughs> Screw that. I want to be an alien. <laughs> Oh God! I have decided, girl, that I'm going to start practicing painting more, just in case I have to get in drag someday again. <laughs> what's that? What's this look you're doing? In case one I day you know. and I have I to sit know. on a stage somewhere, Lord, in Branson, hey, Missouri. I mean, you already painted for the balcony, so I think you should be okay, girl. girl. I, the balcony girl you can i barely <laughs> wear anything I, I, I have these delicate features i can't that's put because, a lot that's of that's because you on. like that natural look natural look that natural, natural look. look of man and makeup it's what I go for. <laughs> natural look. natural yes god of gunmetal eyeshadow gunmetal oh. was my color girl where where is this conversation even going? I don't know. Natural girl, natural. Natural, natural girl, natural. <laughs> girl, speaking of natural, did you know that we have a Patreon? What? Dear <laughs> listeners, if you go to patreon.com, <laughs> Mims of Mame, you can throw us some money. Lord have mercy. Hey, Mame. That, that backslash was held hostage that time. It girl. was. Did you know that we have another podcast? What? It's called You Slay Me. You Slay Me. me. It's a Murder, She Wrote mo podcast. Modcast? A modcast. I would love a modcast. I love that, too, actually. That sounds like a great cocktail. Hey, Mame. Mm -hmm. Did you know that we have merchandise? What? I know. You didn't know either. If you go to mimsofame.com. I forget every week. You can buy some things. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> you... Some person's going to have nightmares of you just saying, hey, babe. <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> It's probably you. Hey, Mame. Yes. <laughs> did you do you know what else I like? <laughs> um uh, uh, uh likes uh, and subscribes and oh, ratings. Yeah, I That's like it. those. I, I was like gonna those. say German pastries. German oh, I pastries. love German pastries. Oh my god. <laughs> Is there a good German bakery down in Fort Lauderdale whenever I come? We no. uh No, there's not. I can already tell you there's not. There's oh enough... wait, no, we do have one. Girl, there's enough Cuban bakeries and stuff down there. Like, no, no, no. Like, the, but there's actually like a literal German bakery. Girl, just take me to a panaderia. It, it's perfectly fine. Oh yes, honey, yes. It's, <laughs> it's beyond, girl. You carbs. That's this place survives on carbs, <laughs> like literally. I, I, I hope. I yes, that is that is my hope and my dream. Carbs and croquetas. Carbs I and hope croquetas. that you have planned out some food for me in my forty-eight hours down there. Forty-eight like, hours. Still not over that. It's like the, uh, the the Rachel Ray. Thirty dollars a day. Oh yeah, Gosh. girl. I could put on a Rachel Ray wig if you want me to. Please don't. Um, it's EVO Owen Delish. <laughs> she's gone. She's come so far. You know, like when you think about what she's done with that that Food Network and the fact that she turned it into an actual mm -hmm. daytime talk show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good on you, Rachel Ray. Good on you. Well, you girl. know, she started off kind of doing that. Uh, on like she? local news, she she had like her local news spot was cooking and doing oh, that. that. Yeah, and then I she morphed that. into TV. Yes. Um, I know that. Wait, Kimchi is doing foundation now too. Yes, she's Stop she's, it. she's done foundation forever. I didn't know that. I thought she just did palettes. No, Stop. no, her blush is fantastic too. Like. Like, I'm about to spend a lot of money. I know, I know. Lord Just save your receipts. No, save your money. receipts like you're in an argument with somebody. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Green shot those bitches. <laughs> my husband of... recently, my husband recently brought that up. By the way, what <laughs> he said, 
He said, I don't really want to have an argument with you right now because I don't want to say something that I know you're going to repeat back to me verbatim in three weeks. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> clearly we've been together for a while. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, God. Um, d- yeah, I-, I had something to add. What was it? One plus one. This is season four, episode three. There she is. (laughs) I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I'm Julia Sugarbakers. I'm Julia Sugarbakers. And that's Marjorie. Just so you will know, and your children will someday know, is the night the light went out in Georgia. The light went out, the light went out, the light went out, the light went out. And that is the night the light went out in Georgia. Well, now you do. <laughs> so we're at Sugar Baker's Girl. Yes. And I didn't know if you knew this, but Charlene is having a baby shower. You're, that is a shock to me. That is a shock. I, I'm surprised. A southern woman having a baby shower? Somebody was having a baby shower in my neighborhood today. God. And it was a boy based on the balloons. So, so I have a friend that is trying to adopt a child, uh-huh. um, and he they they have a mother who who is g- giving the child up. Okay, but they had a little bit more of a story. The father's not very happy with this situation. Of course not. But they had a gender reveal for the potential adopted parents. My friend said it was very weird. Like, even though he's, they're very excited to have this to have this baby come into their life, um, the gender reveal part was a little bit odd because it was the the birth mother on Zoom with them. That's it's weird. Yeah, like it was. It was. It was. Yeah, very uncomfortable. That's very strange. Yeah. That's very. I mean. Yeah, that's very, that's very, it's like Bernice just yeah. in showing up at your house with and the... like, like, but the thing is that in North Carolina, either parent has seven up to the birth and then seven days after the birth to get the child back. Oh, okay. For no reason. Like they could just say, oh no, we, we want the child back. Oh, all right. Yeah. That's, um. That's that's pretty standard in America. Like that's most states. I mean, I, I think Oregon know. is one of the few that actually allows contract to be enforced. Nice job, Oregon. Yeah, I guess. Well, Suzanne um, has presents now. Let's change the subject back to this. <laughs> Suzanne's been buying. She's been buying presents for weeks and weeks now. It seems like. Yeah, and she te- she tells Charlene not to go upstairs because the presents are upstairs, and you know she doesn't want Charlene to see him before time. I mean, you know. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, she's been buying presents forever. <laughs> so Suzanne steps out, and Char- we find out that Charlene got pregnant on her honeymoon. I guess they counted down the days backwards, mm-hmm. I guess. Which is weird, because most women are right at 10 months, but she's at nine months exactly, whatever, Charlene is emotional. She's an emotional wreck. Just just let it wash over you, Charlene. You're going to be a mom. And Barry Joe is like, you know, I had to quit watching commercials because every time there was a GI calling his person on AT, his partner on AT&T, I just fell apart. You know, I changed part from wife to partner, whatever. I, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know. I miss those commercials. Those uh, wh- extra, 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 extra Ooh, sentimental girl, you, commercials. You, you, you know what? You know what season we're almost in? No. Perfume commercial season. Oh, <gasps> that's true. It's my favorite season. Oh my gosh! Come on, let's roll Charlize Theron back out to yes! remind us that she's a movie star. Yes, yes, yes. I. Love that's the only it. time we get to see it, right? All, all the rest of the year, she's a working actress, but. 
during the holiday season, oh, movie star Charlize comes back. Yes. And Julia oh. Roberts. Uh-huh. Oh, my God. It makes... Actually, I already saw one. I saw one yesterday, actually, uh, with uh, Marion Cotillard, the French actress. Uh, yeah, she's like, it's her dancing on the moon. Um, what kind of weird-ass a... fragrance is that? <laughs> I want to say it was Chanel. Oh, and then there's also what's her doodle? Um, oh my God, Star Wars, uh, Israeli. Star Wars Israeli. Yes, what's her name? Gal Gadot. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, 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 I, I missed uh, the Star Wars part. I heard just Israeli, and I was uh, like, uh, wait. Uh, Black Swan. Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. There you go. <laughs> I literally was like, Israeli. <laughs> Of course, that's true. I guess Gal Gadot, we haven't seen her get fully, like, no. she hasn't. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder why. Because she seems like she was literally created to be in perfume ads. Yeah, doesn't it, though? Well, like, she's, you know, she may be, I, I hate to put it this way, but, like, for them, she may be a little thick. Oh, that's true. Like, they like she's, real she thin is a, women. She is a thicker for, like, the high fashion yeah. world. Yeah. Maybe after Cleopatra comes out, she'll be more favored. Ooh. That's gonna be a mess. Uh -huh. I hope it is as much a debacle as the last time they did Cleopatra. Girl, I couldn't finish it. Um. <laughs> well, it did take like three days to finish. <laughs> so, yeah, God, there's always that much of Elizabeth Taylor looking very bored and very so, horny. You can... Always bored. Like she was so bored the whole time. She just looked kind of like. Richard Burton, I don't, I don't like you at all. But I love I, you. Exactly. This is the eighth time we've gotten back together. So <laughs> we find out that Elvis and Priscilla got pregnant on their honeymoon too, and you know they had Lisa Marie exactly nine months later. To which my husband directly after they said that said, "You see how well that worked out for everybody involved." Um, wasn't Lisa? It wasn't. Wasn't Priscilla like fourteen as well? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, Lord yes, Jesus, yes. or Lord like Mercy. very young. I don't know if it was fourteen, uh, but yeah, very young. She was too young, was and too that's young. why. Then Charlene said, "Well, that's why they called him the King, and that's why they called him the King." <laughs> Live like you're dying. There you go. <laughs> Damn it! You beat me to it this week. I was going to do that later. <laughs> well, Anthony's here. And he's not invited to the baby shower. And he's like, that's fine. I've gone to lots of little men parties where we eat crustless sandwiches and play games to where you win a biscuit cutter, too. I want a biscuit cutter, girl. Speaking of that. I would love a biscuit cutter and also crustless sandwich. I was just in. I was. I, I went to the zoo on Saturday. Okay. Okay, and zoo. The, and driving back. uh I, we, there's no real lunch to eat at the zoo. I mean, there is, but who really won't spend fifteen dollars for a not that good burger? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So we're driving back, and in Ramshire, North Carolina, Ram. Oh, that's where. Yeah, that's, that's where, where Heidi's from. from. Yes, uh, we we went to the Bojangles. Girl, this is the most Bobo Bojangles I've ever been to. Ooh. I go inside. There are four people working in there. Two men, two women. Every single one of them sound like Heidi. <laughs> Every everything you just said just now just washed over me like. And I mean, manna. they oh they were. It went from like upper middle aged woman who did not want to be there to young manager woman who was you know just doing everything to young gay dude and old straight black man. Like it was the full gambit of all of them. <laughs> and all of them just sound exactly like Heidi and Closet. Ram Sewer is where you want to be. <laughs> I don't think that's true for anybody involved. <laughs> you should have been like, do y'all know Heidi? <laughs> I was, I, I, at least one of them did, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, you know that one did. Uh -huh, I know. I, and it's not the gay one either, it's the old black one. <laughs> that old black man's had to listen to more sermons about this drag queen from Ram Thor. He is sick of hearing about Heidi in Closet. Uh -huh. He's like, mm -hmm. he like, my preacher can't stop talking about him. 
Well, Anthony's going to go pick. Well, Anthony's picked up some uh, cakes, pies actually for for the for the baby shower, and they were out of lemon or they were out of uh, uh, key lime. They only had lemon meringue. Charlene's mm. crying, and Anthony's like, "I know, I feel that same way. They always just have key lime. I don't know why they didn't." Well, Anthony leaves to go pick up her niece, and Mary Jo's like, "Well, you need to humor her." Bernice thinks it's a surprise party, to which Anthony I says, well, it. I always humor her. That's how they survive so long. <laughs> oh, God. Kind of like <laughs> Suzanne and and Bernice, just humor them both. Yep, that's what Anthony's, do- that's Anthony's job at this point mm-hmm. now in the company. <laughs> to think we have to wait two more seasons for that song. I'm so upset. I, uh-huh. feel like, I truly felt like that was during the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's it's very late. It's it's very wild late. now when, I, when you told me that it was like world shattering. I was like, wait, what are you talking about? No, we're gonna hear it soon. So uh Julia comes in after Anthony leaves and she's like, Charlene, are you okay? Anthony is very worried it was gonna go hit the baker for you. She's like, No, I'm so. just I'm just emotional. Um I I've gosh, you know, I haven't had lemon meringue pie in a long time. I know, right, girl? Ooh, yeah. And you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit trashed that I'll just get one of the frozen ones from the like. Oh, me too, girl. Okay, me girl. too, girl. Yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, I, ain't no shame. Uh, they, uh, those people been working on that for decades and decades. It's mm-hmm, like a science mm-hmm, at this point. So I'm yeah, not gonna I, question I, science. I, yeah, that, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Dear listeners, if you learn anything from us, it's don't question science. <laughs> I'm, I mean, it's really funny, right? Because I know that sometimes, especially in our culture, right, our Southern culture, they'd be like, you got I was like, I'm wh- like, which culture are you talking about? The Southern girl? one we, at this point. We the got southern, so many, right? <laughs> the Southern baked good culture. Okay. You know, they look yeah. at that stuff. And I'm like, y'all, you, y'all do realize that they work with like, chefs mm-hmm. scientists all like they work with all mm-hmm. these people to develop these products like little old you, ladies it, right like come you it's okay you can if you ain't got the time mm-hmm. to make a full-on lemon meringue pie just go buy it girl mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that sounds real good right now mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well right. so they're going through the mail and charlene's got a baby card and like a baby present why is she getting her stuff here I, anyway beside the beside the point there's they a probably register- did that because she lives in an apartment like she i think they still have an apartment right so and maybe is this, so, i've lived in an apartment you can get mail in an apartment maybe i don't know go ahead go ahead <laughs> there's and no she lives with bill now won't you marry me bill i want you to put a baby in me sorry he already did so, you just pooped it right on out. Pooped it. <laughs> that one got me. I can't believe I said that. But I did, and it's good to my soul. <laughs> Oh, I can't right now. Oh, so... oh my god! Oh my god! But there's a register letter for Suzanne, and she she doesn't accept bad news. She just keeps on pretending it won't be there. I feel the same way, mm-hmm. Suzanne. I do the same thing Me a lot too. of times. Me too. Avoid emails. Uh, yep. So there's a woman who enters who just walks in. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey. Uh, she's looking for Suzanne. Her name is Audrey Dickers. Oh, hey, Miss Dickers. And she's director of pageants at Miss Georgia World. Oh, that's nice. They must want Suzanne to come do a special appearance. Their charter's at stake. <gasps> what? There's been a misunderstanding. I'm saying a what? miscalculation. Oh, no. Suzanne lost Miss Georgia World. Stop it. It was a clerical error that was found out when they were putting things into the computer. Oh my God, Suzanne's gonna die. She lost on the question. That's it. Yeah. 
but then she do well in everything else. Everything else, but the question. How much was the question weighted for good? I mean, sake. apparently, Miss George World, it, it's a lot because they, they don't want, they want people to be able to speak. Can't have deaf mutes, apparently. Apparently not, <laughs> guys. Get with the times. <laughs> no Elizabeth shoes for this. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I need you to grunt. David, mm. David, what is she trying to say? Mm. David, mm. look at her. Mm. David, look at her. She's shitting all over Celeste's <laughs> slides. <laughs> ah. Ah. God, she's shitting all over Celeste. Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Mm. oh no. Well, she has girl. to abdicate to Donna Jo Carnes. I'm sorry. There should Donna Joe, not Donna Joe. Yes, Donna Joe, Donna Joe Carnes. Mm-hmm. That does not even sound like a winner's name. And, and that, no, it doesn't. And Audrey's like, I'm sure she will handle it with the dignity and grace of the Miss Georgia world. To which Mary Joe says, do, <laughs> "Do you remember Suzanne? <laughs> well, no, I was working in South Carolina in 1975." And she just leaves. And the Julia goes, oh. This is one of Julia's funniest moments. It is. It is. And Charlie's like, well, she'll be first runner up, which means if she <laughs> can't blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh, I, I thought you were going to rattle it off. I, but I don't. I don't know it. I know it just from watching so many pageants with I'm my sure mom. You do. I'm sure <laughs> you do. Missed- if Miss Joy DeRoll is unable to fulfill her duties due to any other obligations, so the first runner-up shall assume those duties to right where it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. Poor well, Vanessa Suzanne's Williams. here. Hey, Suzanne. How you doing, girl? Hey. And she's like, Charlene, you didn't go upstairs, did you? Because there's a, you're going to get a big surprise later. And Charlie's like, you're going to get a big surprise. <laughs> yes. Which I thought was kind of crappy. Uh huh. <laughs> so yeah, Joy, so feelings. she sits down. Joy, Joy has to sit down, and Joy's like, "Do you ever think what it would be like if you weren't Miss Georgia World?" No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Dear no. listeners, do you ever think what it would be like if Suzanne wasn't Miss Georgia World? No. Mm-mm. No. No. That is a fiber of her being. And Mary Jo's like, do you remember Miss Donna Jo Carnes? And Charlie's like, I bet she was real nice, wasn't she? <laughs> no, no, she 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 put she put my flaming baton in the toilet, and and I had to get I had to luckily I had a spare, but I fixed her little red wagon. What do you mean you fixed her red wagon? Oh, I I literally fixed her wagon. I um. It, she was reading something from Grapes of Wrath, and it was filled with a bunch of stuff for poor people, and I made it so it just fall apart on stage. <laughs> You're both terrible. Uh-huh. Well, Audrey <laughs> Dickers walks back in and says, make sure that J- Suzanne brings the uh, sash and crown when she has to give up her title. And Bernice pops up behind her and goes, surprise! Girl. Yeah. It's it's a good thing she didn't give that sash and crown to that dude from that other episode because that would have mm-hmm. been awkward. <laughs> you mean the last episode? Was that just the last episode? Yes, girl. That horrible episode was the last episode. Not mm. horrible. That, that it was good. just so. It was just okay. It was okay. It's okay. It was better than bad. It's good. Oh. <laughs> It was it was a message. Live like you're dying. <laughs> Live like you are dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so girl, I have learned something. I've started jogging. Oh, good for And you. I've been trying to find songs to, you know, jog to. Okay. And do, do you know which one I'm 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 like feeling right now? Gloria by Laura Branigan. You're close. You're very close. Total eclipse of the heart. Name. Total eclipse of the heart. It's it, it is a woman's name. Oh, ready? Here, here we go. I want to sing it. Okay. Valerie, call me, call on me. Yes, Valerie. Yes. 
Uh, I'll see win one for you. <laughs> like, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes queer history is so funny because you're going to be like, because you go to look at younger people and be like, yeah, there was a period of time mm-hmm. where like three different DJs all took the same song uh-huh. and made their own yes, versions yes. of the, and they competed against each yes. other for the top spot. Yes. On the Although I, I'm, I'm, I'm singing, I'm, da- I'm jogging no, to the original. No, no, I know. It's just but the, you which, said it, which, which like, DJ is your favorite one? Uh, what was it? The the something something disco. I can't remember what their oh, name mine's, was. Mine's Eric, whatever his name is. Eric Brads. Oh, man. Eric. Yes. Call me. Call me. Call like, me. I just it's a, it's wild. And then uh-huh. you and then you want to look at like a young gay and be like, and that wasn't the only time that. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> like it wasn't the only time we. We had that happen multiple times. DJs in different parts of the world all s- decided on the same song at the same mm-hmm. time. It's very weird. We're at the party. Hi. And we're at Bernice's present. So Charlene's <laughs> opening up Bernice's present. She's like, it's heavy. And Suzanne is completely despondent. Like, she's just out of it. <laughs> she is shell-shocked. And like, she, Charlene pulls out her gift and it's a gerbil <laughs> and like Bernice has to explain it with people always ask, you know, I, I don't want, I just want it to be healthy. I don't, I don't care, care if it's boy, boy or, girl. or girl. I just want it to be healthy. And, uh, Bernice's Bernice replies always, says, always like, you'd care if it was a gerbil. And Suzanne goes, ah. <laughs> and she said, I am just a friend. I am not a comedian. <laughs> And then she just doubles down and she just keeps on going. I was like, that's yep. kind of a perfect little moment yep. there. <laughs> uh, so then the, so then Mary Jo goes on about the same things that were said at the baby shower were things that were said to Bill on the night of the conception. You know, yes. oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. Um A hamster. A hamster a gerbil deer. Gerbil. 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 Hamster. Gerbil. Gerbil. So Monet, yes, Monet's back and, again. Who, whose hair looks rough right now? It does. Like she um, looks like she just got done. Yeah, like she rushed <laughs> over. She, I'm just saying, she looked like she rushed over. She's like, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> you messed up my hair, and I don't have time to fix it. Shout out to the sex workers. I had the best conversation with a sex worker on Thursday. She had me in stitches talking about some of her clients. There oh. were so there there were a couple of sex workers. I don't remember what it was on. Um, and they were talking about all the stuff that they that they would do and like, you know, and like lists of crazy weird things. Oh yeah. And then they were like but will you have your feet licked? And they were both like, oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was, well, a, it so, was a gay one and a, and a straight female. It was so funny because she was like, like she was lit. Like she had some drinks in her. Mm-hmm. And so she started like, I mean, dear listeners, when I do my show on Thursday, I am very clearly a drag queen. And she was like, been, she's like, I think my dress is too short. I'm like, it looks fine. She's like, what about when I do this? And she bent all the way over, and that dress just, it was gone. And uh-huh. the, there was a gentleman beside me who was looking. She's like, don't be looking at that. That ain't for you. I was like, yeah. <laughs> she said, he better stop looking at me. She said, she looked at me too long. You're going to be paying me $10,000. I was like, I'm done. I'm done for the night. I'm done. I, well, I want to be a $10,000 hooker. Honey, this this girl not only is she ten thousand dollars sex worker, mm-hmm. uh, she got somebody that's paying for her apartment like in downtown Miami, like the mm. the whole thing. I was I just giggled the whole because she was literally like something off of a movie. Like mm. I could see Cardi B easily playing this character. That's how <laughs> she was. Oh goodness! So there's a toast, and as the toast goes on, Suzanne gets. <laughs> it's getting worse and then she just stands up and say they can have that crown would they take it from my cold dead scalp <laughs> <laughs> which listeners. based on her wigs that she probably yeah, does have true, a dead scalp that's true. um that that is that is a reference 
to Charlton Heston when he gave an NRA speech with a gun in his hand. They will take this from my cold, dead hands. Yeah. And then he died yeah, later. Yeah. I think it's great that, um, that of all of the things that got referenced and parodied so much over the time, that line got taken. Mm -hmm. And that was used in more comedy shows and he thought he was really saying something that day. You seen San Jack, dude. <laughs> so, so we're at Suzanne's now, um, and it's it's getting close to time to go to the hotel to give up the sash and the crown. Mm -hmm. um, and everyone is afraid to go inside of her room. <laughs> they don't want her to kill them. No, and Julia's like she is a loving, kind human. So we are all going to go in there together because she can't take us all out with a gun. <laughs> oh that's right she still has her handgun right yes she does yes she does <laughs> so they go in and Suzanne's getting ready and Anthony's like D Suzanne do you still have that large gun <laughs> well she's just she's just like I'm getting ready to go I'm very calm I talked to Consuela and to which Mary Jo's like it is 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 there is there a Donna Joe Carnes doll. <laughs> well, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Oh. And she made one for Miss Dickers, too. She did. And Suzanne and Julia have a nice, sweet moment about, like, you know, it, Julia always told Suzanne anything she put her mind to she could be. And when she was, like, going up to be a Miss Georgia World, she put her mind to it, and she did it. It wasn't a... Everybody else was like, I'm going to meet these people and I'm going to love this moment. And Suzanne was like, no, 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 no. I'm going to do what you're supposed to do on Drag Race yes. and just go for it. I ain't trying to make no friends. I'm trying uh -huh. to get that crown. I'm trying to get uh -huh. the $100,000, the $150,000. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, speaking of, yes. I, I like Trixie Mattel's uh, advice to people on Drag Race. What was it? Shoot for the middle. Like, it's it's always, you know, yeah, you keep saying you want to win, you want to win, you want to win. But, like, safe is safe till the end. I mean, look at uh, Great British Bake Off, right? They're in the final three. Girl, the, the... Uh, who watches that anymore? I'm just saying, I love it. Anyway, okay. it's still proving my point. The guy that just made it into the final three, mm -hmm. he just won Star Baker in the last challenge before the final three. That's he hadn't exciting. won anything, right? So it's like... Every once in a while, it How is can you okay. watch it with those people? I pay attention to the contestants. I don't really but, pay but attention to But that little Britain guy is so I know. annoying. I just pay attention to the contestants. And, I don't really and, pay attention to them. And Paul Hollywood is kind of a racist, maybe. <laughs> there, there's, there's pictures of him during Halloween going out in an SS uniform, girl. Stop! No. Don't say that now. Yes! Don't... You didn't know that? That came out no, years ago. He I kind of apologized. I didn't know all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. The only reason <laughs> to watch it was Mary Berry. Lord have mercy. Why do you have to say all that now? Because I, 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 I need to keep you grounded. Oh, thank you. I need to keep you grounded, not watch thank this you. trash television when you couldn't be watching Encanto. Have you seen Encanto yet? <laughs> What was that? What did you say? <laughs> Don't they <that> encanto? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, that is not the quite the the right question, but. I don't. That's I've, I've, I'm time. so used to. It's so weird that like I start. I now understand Spanish, mm -hmm. even though I've still never committed anything. But it's just from all of the people that have spoken mm -hmm. Spanish yeah. to me in various situations here. Yeah, certain things and phrases I now understand, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and that's very unusual because, other than seventh grade, I still have not studied any Spanish, but. Enough people have said stuff to me well, that girl, I'm like, oh. Also, you, you, you know French, and French and Spanish are very no, there are related. Similarities. There yeah. are similarities. But yeah. it's just funny that we're, I mean, <clears throat> like, because mm -hmm. uh, down here, a lot of people think that I am uh, Dominican because mm -hmm. of my complexion and my hair. And mm -hmm. so uh, people just, they don't even ask me if I speak Spanish. They just mm -hmm. speak Spanish to me. And every once in a while, because I don't want to make it awkward, I'll just answer in English because I understand what they're saying in Spanish. <laughs> Girl, you should just 
you know, why not make it awkward? Like, just look at them and go, English? No. Why not? Because being down here is almost like being in another country at this point. So I don't know. Ain't they all voted Republican? They didn't all vote Republican. Oh, mm, mm, mm. I mean, in Dade, in Dade County, a lot of them vote Republican. That's yeah, the girl. Cubans, girl. The Cubans are they're yeah, in their uh, own little world. Uh -huh. They're in their their own little yeah. You know, you know why they're in their own little. I probably shouldn't say this because it's controversial. Yet brave. <laughs> that that it, it's because a lot of the older ones um got 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 the help of the government but doesn't want that help of the government to for anybody else oh that's not controversial honey that's fact, that's fact. <laughs> they say that mess down here all the time yeah they talk they talk about other immigrants down here all the time as if they are different and mm -hmm. and the rest of the the rest of like broward is like um mm -hmm. you know that you guys are all you're all immigrants you do realize that yeah. right like except for the puerto ricans puerto ricans are not immigrants no, no, no. Here, there, we're not, talking, we're not even talking about Puerto Ricans. We're talking about because remember, South Florida is like it is all mm -hmm. of the Latin American countries, mm -hmm. and I mean for real, they literally talk mm -hmm. about Venezuelans, mm -hmm. Ecuadorian. They're, all of them are like, no, that that's different. They're different. That's different. We're like yeah. how, how from me uh -huh. the American? How are you guys all different? I'm lost. Uh, mm -hmm. Girl. Don't get me started on some Latin American relations because I barely understand what's happening. <laughs> I just know it. I just know it feels kind of racist. <laughs> so we're at the hotel. Oh man! Okay. I'm so excited. Anthony's like, "Do you think Consuela can really put a curse on people?" And Mary Jo's like, "No, but Suzanne can." Yes. <laughs> and Bernice found Donna Joe in the bathroom. She She's like, dragged what I this found. woman out. I was like, you know, I have to say, mm -hmm. I was getting very much Honey Boo Boo vibes. I was getting um, my Nona Judd vibes. See, I was thinking she reminded me so much of Mama June. Mm -hmm. um, like, mm -hmm. But but now that you've said that, I'm like, oh, wait, she is like a cross between Winona and Mama June. So, girl, we watched the funniest thing today. We, we watched, it was like a little science special thing mm -hmm. about the pumpkin toadette. It, it's something random it's it was called like this toad is is made incorrectly or something okay and like, it, it's it's uh inner ear which you know normally has the three things that uh, allow people to have space okay. is because it's so tiny is defunct so they have pictures of it jumping and like most frogs jump and you know land on their feet Okay. This frog can't figure out where it is in the air. It jumps and just flops over in whatever way it lands. It's like I'm gonna need you to send. I'm gonna need I'll, you to send me that I'll, video. I will. I will, I will send you, you that video. video. It is so cute. You know, I, <laughs> we we were know. like watching about this frog, watching about this frog. And all of a sudden, we saw it jump, and we're like, "Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> this poor little frog." Oh, I love when nature is the way it is. <laughs> uh -huh. She was going on 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 and on about evolution, being like a C student because it doesn't matter if you like how good you do it. As long as it passes, it's just going to keep going. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's like, as long as it's not, you're not evolved to the place that you die. Eh, exactly. Exactly. <sighs> so Donna Joe, do you uh, ask, do you know what first runner up means? And Charlene goes into her spiel and we meet her husband, Lyle, who, who, who is, uh, is uh, a spark plug salesman. And at the store, Charlie's like, well, what did they say at the store when, when you tell them that Donna Joe's going to be Miss Georgia World? My so favorite part of this whole episode. They, they just couldn't believe it. They just don't believe it at all. I, they say, you're Donna Joe. Well, you're just lying. I just don't. Mm -hmm. Not that Donna Joe. Not, Not your Donna, Donna Joe. Joe. Not your Donna Joe. I'm, I would be lying if I told you that that little moment did not make me homesick. <laughs> <laughs> that one little exchange, I was like, oh, I kind of miss home a little bit. <laughs> so, girl, my, my husband was talking talking to my friends about conversations between me and my mom. Okay. And you know how sometimes they're going, they go, Eric, well, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, his first brother's cousin. I'm like, yeah, I know. Well, he's dead. 
<laughs> so uh, we got the car. I knew that's what you're going to say because mine does the same thing. We got the car with my mom. Oh. And she started with one of those lines. And I just texted my husband, well, he's dead. And then she, I was like, no, yeah, I remember him. Well, he's dead. <laughs> Or, or she's real sick. She's real sick. Probably not going to make it <laughs> next time you see her. Remember that person I told you? She's dead. Oh, and then, or then there'll be the wonderful where it's like, yeah, I went to their funeral last week. I saw such and such. They told me to tell you how I am. Like, who is that? <laughs> well, they're dead. <laughs> They told me tell you how I'm like, do you remember them? You went to school with them. Like, went to school when? Like, when, when, which part of school? <laughs> it's like pre-K. It I, was pre-K, girl. I think it was Sunday school. I'm like, I don't remember. No, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> that I said I am like, I haven't seen them in 30 years, <laughs> and I didn't like them then. So why? I think. God. You remember Bob Bob? Oh Lord, have mercy! Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, Mary Jo and Charlene are pulling for Consuelo and the curse. I mean, I would do. I would too at this point. So it's 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 time for the crown switch. Joy is on stage with Suzanne, holding her hands like Suzanne. If you do this, I will forget. I I will I I will. I'm sorry for everything I ever said. If you just do this with dignity, I'll never say anything bad about you again. Mm -hmm. um, Jim Klein, the judge for the 1975 pageant, comes up. Okay. And he's like, "Well, hand me the hand me the crown so I can give it to uh, Suzanne." And she's like, "No, no, no." Suzanne Sugarbaker won, and he's like, "Oh, she won." I surprised Don Joe didn't win. She gave me the best night of my life. Suzanne gets the cape put on the 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 royal cape put on her and goes walks goes over the microphone and screams out thank you. Do 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 do. Poor Don Joe. Do 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 do. Hey man. Yes, ma'am. Did you find yourself Miss Georgia World? So I'm going to give my Miss Georgia World this week uh, to the runner-up, Donna Jo Carr. <laughs> it's just because somebody's got to give her something. Well, okay, so although the best dress in the episode is probably Mary Jo in the red dress. I thought is, so, too. I thought so, too. It, my, my Miss Georgia World is, of course, Suzanne Sugarbaker at the very end, right? Yeah, she looks so good. She looks so good. Cape. But that red dress on on Mary Jo oh, is it was, fantastic. I'm loving season three wardrobe for this woman. She yes, is starting yes. it's starting to get cute. Did you enjoy this episode, Mame? Oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. Any it's any awesome. episode that is Suzanne focused, I'm probably going to say yes to. It's uh, okay. It, it was it was better than the last couple of the season. <laughs> you mean the first two this season? Yeah, well, there were a couple's two, so yes. <laughs> I think that it's um it's a slow burn. We're we're getting there. We're 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 starting to take off. For, well, it's like no, it's for, like, it's for like all each, of the Emmy nominations are going to get. Well, it's like each episode is kind of touching so far on each one of them, mm -hmm. right? Like they're kind of doing a little, almost like a highlight reel of each one of them. Mm -hmm. So I think that that part is. I mean, the first one was Anthony and Suzanne. This one was, uh, you know, just Suzanne. The last one was mm -hmm. kind of, you know, Julia. So everybody's getting sort of like a little mm -hmm. highlight reel to, to get mm -hmm. you started for this season. So I liked it. I wasn't like the greatest episode, but it, it is it is one of of this season. It is one of my favorites just because I think it's it's just that little bit of the southern life that just you you know you can't help it. It just reminds you of so many things from like from Don and Joe, and all of us know a Don and Joe, mm -hmm. and all of us know a Don and Joe's husband. <laughs> Mame, why don't you tell everybody where they can find you? All right. Hello, everybody. It is I, your favorite relation, Auntie Mame. You can find me on social media at Auntie Mames with an S. You can find me online every other week hosting the It's Happening Out uh, television show. It's, you know, you can find it anywhere you find It's Happening Out on uh, Roku, on Apple TV, on YouTube, any of those. Just look for It's Happening Out. If you are looking for me in real life, I host 
I hate you. If you're looking for me in real life, I host Amazing Colossal Karaoke, which is kind of like a cabaret karaoke show every Thursday night in Miami Beach at Kill Your Idol. And also I do improvised comedy with the Villain Theater in Miami, which you can find out more about them at VillainTheater.com. How about you, Mims? Hey, y'all. I'm the Divine Miss Mims, and I wonder if Mims ever hosted a show that she had a time limit on. No. Anyway. No. <laughs> no. Has she ever gone to an impactful speaking course before? No. Oh, girl. That explains so much. You can find this podcast on Twitter at Baking Sugar Pod. Hey, Mike. Mm -hmm. Did you know we have a Patreon? I'm gathering. If you go to patreon.com, Mims and Mame, Somebody you can help throw that us some backslash. Money. Hey, Mame. Save the backslash. Hey, Mame. Yes. Did you know we have another podcast? I guess I did. It's called You Slay Me. <laughs> it's a Murder She Wrote podcast. <laughs> hey, Mame. Yeah. Did you know we have merchandise? What? If you go to mimsandmame.com, you can buy some stuff. Hey, Mame. Yes. I'd like to remind our dear listeners that if you're listening this far, thank you. Thank Please you. Please subscribe to us and rate us. We love your ratings. Oh. <sighs> We love five star ratings, especially. We do love five star ratings, especially. But you know, we'll take a four. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I, 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 I can work with a four. I can work with a four. Why don't you say goodnight, Mame? Good night, Mame. <laughs> Bye, y'all.